guys welcome back to another video younger mona building and today i will be talking about my astral projection video my no my my actual projection experience and guys bro i'm gonna be real bro astral projection bro if you're not ready for it bro do not try it like bro to have the most to have the perfect astral projection or to have like some type of like some type of experience with it at least you have to be taking care of yourself you got to be eating healthy you got to be in the moment bro you can't just try to do that shit and you're thinking all these crazy thoughts and you have, it's like just let your thoughts flow let everything flow and like eventually you will start to see progress but bro i'm telling you bro this is my part one experience of astral projection and bro astral projection bro oh my freaking days bro oh my uh, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was a little bit paranoid. Like, bro, you gonna be paranoid as fuck. And that's really the truth, bro. Like, in everything in life, bro, if you wanna get better at it, it's gonna start as hard as you won't get used to it. You feel me? So it's like, bro, actual projection, bro, it was very hard for me, bro. And, like, it took some time. Like, I ain't just master it like that. That shit took some time, let me tell you. So like I I started astral projection like I think I think three months ago, but I really st I started seeing shit like around like I, I would say around June, I'm pretty sure June. And my first experience with astral projection was I was pretty much just tired of myself, and I was just tired of the shit I was doing and the way I felt. So I just wanted to let go very hard. You feel me? But like let go of so much shit, and I was just in my bed one day, and. I just wanted to let go and I just closed my eyes and just said okay I don't really give a fuck what I'm going through right now I don't care about no external events I'm just gonna be in peace and do some breath work and like calm myself down and I kid you not it felt like I was leaving like imagine third 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 eye I'm not no not third eye imagine in a video game third person right that's how everything felt like and I was like it was like it was like it was like I was going through it was like for example say like when you breathe right you feel that energy you feel that sense of that air coming into your nose i was that little air leaving my body and it was like i was the breath itself i was the whole universe itself that's really what it felt like but then that was like a long time ago but like i don't know what that experience was it felt like it felt like it felt like i was like you know when you like running a lot and you're working out and you and you out of breath it basically felt like that, but it was like, like a way, way, way deeper and calmer state. And it was like so peaceful. It felt like basically I felt like I was dying, but in a peaceful way. And that, bro, dying is not a bad thing. It's just we label it as something bad because all these television shows and all these, all these, all these um distractions that say, okay, TV is bad. When reality, I mean, no, not TV, uh, death is bad when reality, when we die, we transcend, we go we go to a higher state depending on how you were here, you feel me? So you just gotta, bro, understand that shit, bro, and you gotta take time, it takes time. Now, part one of my astral projection experience for this video mainly is about, I'm gonna talk about right now. So, I just actually projected today. And bro, let me tell you how it started. So, so the, basically, bro, I'm, I'm in my room, right? I actually project in my room, you know, and I lay down and I let go of all my thoughts. Well, I don't let go of my thoughts. I let it flow, but I just let go of all the, all, everything, nothing, anything that doesn't serve me. And basically, bro, I just lay down, breathe, and, and let the, let, let the, let, let my breath work by itself. You know, I don't try to control anything. No force to it. If you add force, it's likely it's not gonna work for you. And then what I do is I just, I, I usually put on a guided meditation, a meditation that like allows me to get calm but you could do it without guided meditation or sound frequencies but i usually just do that when i'm at subjection but i meditate without anything you, you sometimes i would to heighten the vibration just to hide it more but usually it's about the internal feelings you feel me but yeah like i was saying i was in that i was in that state of where like I'm leaving my body and like I'm like I'm in my astral body and I feel my astral body like legit literally and basically bro I didn't actually project throughout the guided meditation it was like about an hour and I didn't I didn't I, I, all I felt was 
my body was light and I felt as that I felt like my astral body. So guys, basically like I didn't actually project at that point, but I felt like I felt something. So basically, this whole video is about what happened after that. So after that, and mind you, this is around like around seven in the morning. It's best to do it when you wake up or like when you're not tired because you might just fall asleep. So yeah, but basically, bro, I ended up like saying, okay, I didn't astral project. I'm gonna try tomorrow because mind you, it takes some time to do it. So basically, basically, what I said to myself is, all right. Throughout the astral projection, throughout the end, I was getting real tired because I didn't get no sleep last night, and I should work on my sleep schedule. But I wasn't getting no sleep last night. Like, just focus. I was just really just focusing on like a lot of like the content I want to bring on this channel, which really is good for the fans. But like, not not for the mind you, bro. These, you guys are not fans. You guys are supporters. You guys are just just like me, learning, learning like how I'm learning, and I'm teaching, and you, you guys could do the same. But like I was saying, I I ended up saying i'm gonna go to sleep and while 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 i was while i was out i was in that sleeping position in sleeping mode i felt like i had a sleep paralysis but it wasn't a sleep paralysis imagine your body right imagine you have imagine you i knew what was going on because i was conscious of it but my vibration was like kind of low a little bit so that's why i felt scared and paranoid but imagine you leaving your body and leaving and, and like transforming into a different portal into a different dimension within your mind and it's like a string it's like a it's like a line that's you're connected to and like you're going through that portal and it's like you can control that portal you could be like okay let me wake up i want to get out of this or you can let it happen which i let it happen and it was like bro i was so scared i thought god was taking my life away like this was so strong i thought bro i thought bro i literally thought i was like dying or I was going to heaven or I was going to hell I don't know where I was going but all I know is I was going through a portal and it was like a different dimension and it was like bro I kid you not bro on everything bro this shit was so real bro to the point I got scared now look at this though you're not supposed to get scared you're not supposed to get paranoid because that's really about the whole journey but like but like you gotta think about it you gotta be strong you gotta like over overcome that because I promise you bro like from 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 stages to levels to this, to like from 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 past events that I struggled that I was scared of, I overcame that shit. You feel me? So it was like you you gonna you gonna keep overcoming that shit. You know you know you gotta just put your mind to it and really want it. And that, it's not really about the ex, it's not really about getting there. It's about the experience, and that's really the 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 um the main thing about the journey. You feel me? Throughout the spiritual journey, throughout the whatever you know, whatever you growing in life. You feel me? So guys, yeah, bro, I felt like I was going through a portal, bro. Like this shit, I kid you not, bro. But like, I feel like this wasn't the full thing, cause I be hearing people talking about they go to a, cause you gotta understand, it's like levels to the shit, you know. It's like third dimension, fourth dimension, fifth dimension. You feel me? So it's like there's a spiritual realm and there's an astral plane and there's an astral world. You feel me? So it was like I feel like I was just getting introduced introduced to like the portal to where you're going through the astral realm, but I didn't really go there because I didn't witness no guy talking to me. I didn't witness none of that. I didn't witness. I didn't witness energy like you know. I didn't witness all that, but I just witnessed like the beginning of it. And basically, yeah, this is gonna be part one, man. But yeah, bro, everything happens behind the scenes, bro. Like, like, I, I honestly, bro, everything happens behind the scenes. And bro, I'm telling you, bro, you gotta put in that work, bro. If you wanna see change, bro, if you wanna see progress, you gotta put in that work behind the scenes. Like, I'm holding this camera and I'm talking shit right now, bro. But it's really about what's in here, not what's, not not what I'm saying. You know, it's like y'all could probably feel my energy from this, but it's like that's really what it is, bro. Like you just gotta like take your energy and like really, really, really go with that, you know. But yeah, guys. That's my first experience with astral projection. I advise you, if you're going to astral project, I highly recommend take care of yourself, bro. Eat healthy, you know, you know, get some nature before you do it, you know. Like, make your body light, you know, and just be focused and be prepared. Like, you're going to be scared at the moment, but trust me, you're going to overbecome it if you want to see more new experience. Have the will to do something and you will always do it. Remember, everything in this world that you want is already yours. Like, when you get money... And you want to spend, and you want to buy something. You're just buying something of more of what you already have, and you know, like, 
don't depend on materialistic things because in this life we come with nothing and we leave with nothing yeah we like fancy cars we like big houses we like money but at the end of the day that that shit that shit don't last and that when you when you die you only gonna have that last breath you're not gonna have none of that so you just gotta look at the bigger picture you feel me but yeah man that's a, that's enough for today man that was my actual projection like that's the beginning of it, but really wasn't the, the, the full thing of it. So I'm going to make a couple parts to this, depending on how it goes. I'm going to make a part two. This is part one. But yeah, man, if this resonated with you guys, if, 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 if this brings value to y'all, and just, you know, if, if, if what I'm saying is helping y'all grow, like, man, leave a like, you know, and just tell me, man, let, let me know. Let me know your experiences. Let me know what y'all go through. Let me just let me know, man, because I want to know y'all feedback. Because it's all about, it's all about connecting. It's not about, oh, it's not about the numbers. You feel me? It's about connecting. It's about, it's about knowing our power. You feel me? And coming as a, as a, as one, you know, because we all connected. You feel me? And I, I just don't want to look at this like as y'all y'all fans. This is a support. This is a positive channel. You feel me? This is a channel where it's about growing and learning. So I'm growing and I'm teaching as I'm learning from you guys, from everyone around the world, man. Dream big, guys, and yeah, man. I'm gonna wrap that video. I'm gonna wrap this video up right there. And yeah, man. Peace and power and love. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. Be aware of your thoughts. Be aware of everything around you, man. And yeah, it's Younger Mo signing out.